everyone so let's solve this one more example on Euler equation so we have x square d square y dx square plus 5x dy dx plus 3y equal to ln x over x so this one is Euler equation since we have the coefficient in term of variable therefore to solve this type of equation we need to transform it to be a general form of second order ordinary differential equation okay So, first we need to know what is the value of A, B and C. So, our A is 1, our B is 5 and our C is 3. Therefore, we can transform it into 1 times d square y dt square. Okay. Plus with B minus A, so we have 5 minus 1 dy dt. Plus with 3y equal to, don't forget to uh, change all. Uh, x here with exponent t therefore we have ln exponent t over exponent t okay guys so we have d square y dt square here plus with 4 dy over dt plus with 3y equal to t exponent negative t okay now we want to solve yc so we take the left hand side equation and let it be homogeneous equation therefore we will have d square y dt square plus 4 dy over dt plus with 3y equal to 0 therefore our characteristic equation will be lambda square plus 4 lambda plus 3 is equal to 0 so solving it, this one by using calculator what you will get for your equation is your lambda 1 is equal to negative 1 and your lambda 2 is equal to negative 3. Therefore you, you will have your yc equal to a exponent negative t plus b exponent negative 3 t. So this one is your yc. Okay guys, now we want to find what is our uh, yp. Therefore, let's use variation of parameter method. Okay, so to use variation of parameter method, we need to know what is our y1 and y2. Therefore, from yc, we can get y1 and y2 where yc is actually a dot y1 plus b dot y2. Therefore, straightly, we can see that our y1 is equal to exponent negative t and our y2 is equal to exponent negative 3t okay now we can find what is our y1 prime where y1 prime is equal to negative exponent negative t and y2 prime is equal to exponent negative 3 exponent negative 3 t okay so now let's move to find what is w so w is equal to exponent negative t here negative exponent negative t here exponent negative 3 t here and negative 3 exponent negative 3 t here. okay so compute for w w is equal to exponent negative t times with negative 3 exponent negative 3 t minus with exponent negative 3 t times with negative exponent negative t therefore what you will have here is negative 3 exponent negative 4t plus with exponent negative 4t okay therefore you will have negative 2 exponent negative 4t as your w okay now we already have y1 y2 and also w let's find what is u by using the formula negative integral y2 times with ft divided by a dot w dt and we have our y2 equal to exponent negative 3t so let's write y2 is exponent negative 3t times with our ft where our ft is equal to 3 exponent negative t divided by a times w so our a is 1 or the our a is 1, our w is negative 2, exponent negative 4t dt. Okay, 
Let's simplify it first. Negative and negative here can be positive. Therefore, we have integral of t exponent negative 40 divided by 2 exponent negative 40 dt. Okay, and here and here you can sub, you can cancel out. Okay, therefore you only left with integration of 1 over 2 t dt. So what you will have here is t square over 4 plus c as your u. Okay, so now we already have u. Let's find what is our v. v is equal to the integration of y1 dot ft divided by a dot w dt. Okay, so we will have the integration of our y1 here is exponent negative t with t exponent negative t as our ft divided by negative 2 exponent negative 40 as our a times w dt. Okay, so solve or simplify this fraction, what you will have is exponent t exponent negative 2t divided by negative 2 exponent negative 4 t dt. Alright, so now we can simplify this form. What you will have is the integration of 1 over 2, negative 1 over 2, the integration of t exponent 2t dt. Okay guys, to solve this integral here, we need to use the integration by parts. Okay, so to use integration by part, we need to choose what will be our u. So u is equal to t. So the rest of the uh, integral is dv. So dv is equal to exponent to t dt. Okay, so u, we can differentiate to find what is our du over dt. So we have 1. So du is equal to dt. Okay, so integrate dv, you will get v. So, integrate exponent 2t, what you will have here is exponent 2t over 2. Okay, therefore now we need to use the formula of uv minus integration of v du. Okay, so our u times v, v you will have 1 over 2 t exponent 2t minus with integration v du. Therefore, our v is exponent 2t over 2 dt. Okay, du is dt. Therefore, from here, you can solve it. You will get 1 over 2t exponent 2t minus with 1 over 2 exponent 2t over 2. Okay, as your uh, differential, as a solution to this integral. Therefore, what you will have here is 1 over 2 t exponent 2t minus exponent 2t over 2. Okay. So this one is the solution to this integral. So just substitute it here. What you will have is negative 1 over 4 t exponent 2t minus with exponent 2t over 2 as your v. Okay. So now you already have your v, you already have your u, y1 and y2 so you can find what is the value of your yp or what is the equation of your yp okay don't forget 2 plus d here i'm sorry i forgot okay because this is the integration okay